you guys. Happy holidays or happy not holidays anymore. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday season. We totally did and we are excited about the new year. Come here Mulder. This is Mulder if you guys don't know that already. I feel like you'll probably end up seeing him more this year because he's so cute. He's just so photogenic. I had a great holiday season. I I work in a restaurant and it was busy and so I was making a lot of money and they kept having to have me pick up extra shifts because people were going out of town and were already short staffed to begin with and it's like every day of the week was a weekend day when you make more money and it's really busy. So that was great for my budget. I had to buy a lot of household things that we needed, space heater, what else did I have to get? I don't... Oh, I had to buy a new microwave because ours kept shutting off. And I wanted to just sort of get those types of expenses out of the way for the new year. There's still a couple things I have to get. Like, I want to get an earthquake emergency kit just in case. And I'm, I still have to buy a new passport. I need to set up a meeting for that. I have the paperwork and everything and I have the photos. I just need to go in because I lost my previous one so I can't just mail the stuff in, which is unfortunate, but it's my own fault. I lost my passport during my move. Whoops. So back to what I was saying. It was a great month. I was able to put a good amount of money towards my debt. I am close to being credit card debt free. I think I have about $500 left to pay off. And then it's just the loan from my grandma and my student loans, which both are technically student loans. So I can just say I have student loan debt. And that is it. And I'm chipping away at it. I'm almost there. Maybe this month, maybe next month. It's not a big deal either way. This month, maybe not because my income is going to go down a little because I'm going back to three-ish days a week serving and writing and nannying. The nannying is increasing though lately, so I'll have a more regular nannying job too, which is good for the foreseeable future. Who knows? The little girl I nanny, sorry, there's a notification on my phone. There we go. The little girl I nanny is probably going to preschool soon, so ah, they're both getting so old. Ah. It's sad. Okay. But for the things that you guys are here for, yeah, it was a great month. And so last month I had $26,279.04 of debt. And as you know, I don't include the total amount I paid towards it. I think that would actually be more depressing. <laughs> I just calculate how much my debt went down. So I paid more dollars than this but a lot of it went to interest. I lowered that by $721.56 so I am now $25,557.48 in debt. That's not terrible. I mean it is terrible. Grand scheme of things I'd rather be at zero but that is not terrible progress. I am getting there. I think this is going to be a much better year. I'm gonna post a video of all my goals. Well, I don't know, maybe my financial goals only because I have a lot of general goals, but I'm gonna post a video to let you guys know what I'm trying to do this year to fire myself up. I have a new budgeting system kind of that I'm still working out because it's only the second week of January and it's different and it's very similar to my old way, it's just a different form and I have to figure out if I'm color coding or what all I'm including, I'm trying to get ahead on some stuff, you'll see. But for now, December was surprisingly great because I made more money than I thought I would. I got some very generous Christmas money gifts, I got some very generous Christmas gifts and I'm I'm going into the new year feeling very energized and very motivated and excited. So it's going to be a great year and I hope you guys will follow me on my journey this year. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe 
to my channel, Shopping Crafty. I don't just post about finances. I post planner videos, I post about meal planning or I'm going to be, and I, I'm an actress who's trying to have a real life while pursuing acting, which is a hard thing to do. It really is, because basically acting is playing the lottery, but it's a way more expensive lottery. A way more expensive lottery. But I love it, and that's what I'm doing. And I think I can have a solid financial life while doing it, which is awesome. I will talk to you guys again soon. Let me know how your year ended up. Did you have a big financial victory? Did you have a rough December month? What was it like for you guys? Just let me know. Leave a comment below. I'll talk to you soon.